Right, another part of the distances is where they ask you to find out a specific route which isn't a straight line, such as with a route that we've got here along the footpath. This came up before. And with this, you require a piece of string because the route is not straight, so therefore you should try and work exactly the curvature of the route and to work out the distance there. You need the key, which will always be on the map there. And of course, you need common sense. So now we're going to use this, which is a question, and we're going to have to measure it from Winchester, roughly, to in between Polgay and Eastbourne here. And I'm going to use this piece of string right here. So now as you're going along here, every little corner, you want to try and move the string to fit the curvature of the path. I'm going to go here nice and slowly, keep going across, make sure I don't lose track of where I am. And then I'm going to keep going along, like so. Now as we go along, we're going to measure this until we get to the end. We're about a third of the way there. I'm going to keep going. Almost there. Got this little wiggly bit down here. Might be a bit of a problem. No, it's not really a bit of a problem. We got this. Back around again. Down there we go. Across again. A little bit there. Across here. Down here. There. There. And finally there. So now we're going to pull this dot here. I mean, this is the length of it. And then we're going to use this key here and measure it, which is two centimeters. So what 10 kilometers is two centimeters. And we use this string here, place it at zero. This thing here, all the way across, and that is 27 centimetres. So now we're back on the board again, we've run kilometres, which is the key, which is 2 centimetres. Distance, which, it was 27, but we've rounded up because you might have missed some out. We're going to put it as 30. And here, we're going to, because you're going to have to do 30 divided by 2, so 30 divided by 2 equals 15 centimetres. And because the key is 10 kilometres, you're going to have to do 15 times by 10 which will give you an answer of 150 kilometers. There we go.